Hello, internet. Ignore the music in the background. That's just because it's somewhere on my computer and I'm not going to stop it. So, as I said at the end of my last vlog, today's a special vlog because I will be presenting my society's project on the music of the 70s. Now, I'm doing this and posting this as part of my vlogs because I thought it was a fun topic to research and discuss. Now, the music of the 70s was more toned down than the music in the 60s because it was meant for dancing and relaxing. Now, obviously, most know that in 1970, the Beatles split up. Now, bands splitting up usually wasn't a big deal, but the Beatles were a sensation, and they had played a major role in the British invasion of music that started in the 60s. In the early 70s, you also had the deaths of Jimi Hendrix, Janis Joplin, Jim Morrison, who had all helped to create the more psychedelic side of music in the 60s. In the 70s, you had shows such as Soul Train and American Bandstand, which were dedicated to the music of the 70s. Now, Soul Train featured more, well actually it was dedicated solely to the African American side of music and featured bands and artists such as the Jackson 5, Run DMC, and Freddie Jackson. Now, I had a hard time finding a site that would actually let me see information about American Bandstand, which had been hosted by Dick Clark for years. So I'm sorry I can't really offer much about that, um, other than that Dick Clark hosted it for many years. Now, in the 70s, you had four types of popular music. You had the disco music that we normally think of, progressive rock, punk rock, and a you know, combination of funk and soul music. All of them were pretty different types of music catering to different types of people. Now, disco music is still listened to today by quite a few people. But in the 70s, it was fairly short-lived compared to the other types. Many people were behind the idea of disco music at first, but things change, and then you had radio stations and young people of the new generation coming up at the time rebelling against it. Um, which was strange because disco was made for the dancing. It was the club music. And it was just fun music that people wanted to dance to. But you had them starting to rebel against it. They didn't like it anymore. And your disco bands were people were such as the Village People with YMCA, the Beeskies with you know Staying Alive and ABBA with all of Mamma Mia, creating tunes that made people want to dance. And but progressive rock was different than that. You wouldn't say it was the exact opposite of disco music, but it was fairly different. Progressive rock was your Pink Floyd, Kansas, and to my surprise, Queen. It took the rock from the music from the 60s and combined it with other types of music, which is actually where a couple of the rock operas came from, was because of that idea of combining rock music with opera music to create this new tone of music. Punk rock was another type of music from the 70s that combined rock music with the 70s into but it made it heavier it took the beat and made it a heavier beat and wasn't as calm as the rest of the music from that time period punk rock was your david bowie sex pistols blondie and ramones and the last type of music was funk and soul which was featured a lot on soul train it was definitely considered want more african-american music and it had originated from all the jazz, soul, and R&B music of the 60s and contained hints still of that psychedelic music. In the later 70s, it also took parts of the disco music and combined with it. James Brown, Cool and the Gang, and Earth, Wind, and Fire were your funk soul music. The 70s was a big time for singer-songwriters and advancements into music technology. Amps were improved so they were more durable for long concert, you know, I don't, tours, that's what they're called. And there was also new advancements in recording technology that made it easier for people to create albums. Now, for the fun part, I found karaoke versions of, oh god, of karaoke versions of music on YouTube. And yes, I was singing along with this. I was singing to the song That's Wife on the karaoke version. So that's 10 songs from the 70s. Um, in order of year from 1970 to 1979, they were one of the 10 top hits. Now I looked at two different lists to come up with my own, 
that way it showed both sides just to get a more broad idea on it so until next time enjoy the music <laughs> live long and prosper I go hungry over troubled water I will lay me down like a bridge over troubled water I will lay me down by and by Miss American Pie drove my Chevy to the levee but the levee was dry lean on me when you're not strong and I'll be your friend I'll help you carry on for it won't be long till I'm gonna need somebody to lean on sing with me sing for me here sing for the left sing for the fear sing with me just for today maybe tomorrow the good lord will take you away sweet home alabama <laughs> where the skies are so blue how i wish how i wish you were here we're just two lost souls swimming in a fish bowl year after year. Is this the real life? Is this just fantasy? You can dance, you can jive, having the time of your life. Ha 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 ha. Sing a life, sing a life.